everybody, I'm Slashem VC. This is Vulture Force Slashem. Super lots of added stuff hack extended magic as we follow the continuing adventures of Kevron the Werewolf. It intrigues me that um, uh, our class is a rogue, and the rogue has its own classes from, you know, say, foot pad, uh, cut purse, and so forth. But uh, all our classes have been overrun by the simple label Werewolf. I wonder if that will ever change. I'm thinking it might not. Is that a bug? Is that intentional? I don't know. But we are on the Gnomish Mines, level 4. Here's another thing that intrigues me. Um, instead of an experience level, because uh, I'm thinking we are XP... What is it? Maybe XP 5? And HD 5. HD, though, is a monster experience level identifier, I think. I don't know what it stands for, but um, I hope that someone will leave that little tidbit of knowledge in the comments. Um... It has been a f few hours since I last played this. Oh yes, I remember this pile of loot. Let's have another look at it here. <clears throat> Poison short sword, thong club, known corpse, elf corpse. I'm gonna eat both of those. I'm gonna get unburdened too. I'm not gonna pick up the pickaxe, which I normally would do with any other character. I want to have a pickaxe with the... What? Well, apparently I'm not sickness resistant. The meat was tainted. You feel deathly sick. I didn't think it was that old. That's probably not good. When is the last time that we prayed? Uh... Food poisoning. Will that kill you? Probably. Okay, hang tight, YouTubers. Uh, food poisoning. NetHack and or slash them. They're very similar. I'm going to Google this. Oh, that's right. My internet's down. Okay. Oh, boy. Not good. We should probably pray... I think this could be fatal. Um, <clears throat> I can't get anything out of my bag as a wolf. Let's try praying. Okay, good. Thank you, Lord Koss. He is well pleased. I feel better. My shape becomes uncertain, and I return to lycanthropic form as opposed to wolf form. Very good. Well, that's what happens. Uh, Nymeria and I were playing this morning, uh, up until this point. And um, then I came back, and I thought I had it under control, but... Uh, I guess that corpse got really old? I'm really surprised. Okay, well, no worries. Let's see. Acid Blob is facing us. Oh, nice. The Acid Blob comes from HP Lovecraft. If you haven't read HP Lovecraft, you are missing out. These giant amoeboid creatures look like nothing more than puddles of slime, but they both live and move feeding on metal or wood, as well as the occasional Dungeon Explorer to supplement their diet? Dungeon Explorer. That can't be a quote. Is it? No, I don't think that part's the quote. The next part is a quote. But we were not on a station platform. We were on the track ahead as the nightmare, plastic column of fetid black iridescence, oozed tightly onward through its 15-foot sinus gathering unholy speed and driving before it a spiral, re-thickening cloud of the pallid abyss vapor. It was a terrible, indescribable thing, faster than any subway train, no, vaster than any subway train, a shapeless conjuries of 
protoplasmic bubbles faintly self-luminous and with myriads of temporary eyes forming and unforming as pustules of greenish light all over the tunnel filling front that bore down upon us crushing the frantic penguins and slithering over the greenish floor that it and its kind had swept so evilly free of all litter I am going to object officially I want to go on the record right now and say I think HP Lovecraft was talking about a shagoth at that at that quote time not an acid blob by the way so if anybody knows better than that please let me know I don't think that's an appropriate quote that really sounds like a sh uh, shagoth to me weren't they the all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It's whatever. It's an acid blob. It's cool. We can handle it. Um, daggers are in quiver. We can probably, yeah. So I thought. Let's go ahead and pick up the lichen. All right, he didn't leave a corpse. Cool. Gonna go downstairs now. We can find it. Okay, I found the down staircase. Taking up a lichen collection. And can I handle a red mold? No, probably not. Those things are, uh, you know, better than you think. Oh, giant ant. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Let's prepare to Elbereth. Let's get over here. It's a better spot. Okay. And now we can backstab. Uh, can you backstab with no weapon? I'm wondering this. Let's try it. Uh, you miss, he bites. Okay. No. Well, I mean... That's not a true test. That's, uh, I keep thinking as for right now that maybe I'm still a uh, undead slayer and I've got intrinsic high speed. I don't, actually. Okay, we're going to hang out here for a minute. Let things move around, of course, go at uh, ranged attacks when, there we go, the ant has lined up, and we've got the daggers quivered, let's fire one, boom, you throw two, strike him from behind, that should have killed him, uh, I don't think there's any doubt, oh, turned into a werewolf, now I'm burdened. I mean, I'm really tempted to drink the potion, but I know that that's suicide. What is the glass wand again? I don't remember the last episode. I, that was this morning. Is it? Is that the vanish wand? I can't actually open my oil skin sack and figure out if that was the teleport wand or if this is... I'm just going to zap it and find out. As soon as somebody lines up. I'm not afraid of the... Uh, yeah, here we go. We should be able to zap wands in our current form. It basically did nothing, and I'm hungry. All right, that's cool. And he... F Where did the ant go? There he is. Right. I hit him with a dagger. By the way, when you are doing ranged attacks from an Elbereth square, you will not um, smudge out your Elbereth. Okay, I'm going to pick up my daggers. So you're safe to throw weapons, shoot arrows, uh, zap wands, cast spells, all that stuff. It's just kind of curious what's down this hall. I hope my curiosity doesn't get me killed, but because the staircase was right there. 
It's the melee attacks which actually obscure your Elbereth Square. Okay, so there's like an empty hallway. Whoa! Hold on, I need to eat again. Do I? Okay, now I know I just prayed not long ago. I can definitely not uh, pray again anytime soon. So we'll just eat the cram ration and move on. How many daggers do I have? Oh, I had nine. I bet I left a couple behind. Let's pick that one up. What? I'm burdened again? Okay, let's drop the potion. Uh, let's not confront... Well, you know what? Yeah, he missed me. My AC is low. I keep forgetting. I've got a... Ha, <laughs> two of them at one time? No. I think not. Guys, we can do this one-on-one. -on -one. There we go. Okay, got him. No. Ooh, getting ugly. Let's engrave. He can't even hold anything. Engrave. Okay, engrave. I swear I think I can engrave as a wolf. It's telling me I can't. But I do have this blessed scroll of teleport if it gets bad. And it might get bad. If both of these guys was to hit at the same time, I would almost be killed in, in one turn. Um, but I killed the Gnome Lord with my Wolf's Bite attack, which is, I mean, not a joke. Honestly, let's grab the food ration. Glad to have that. What do we have here? Shoes. Okay. Moving on. Obviously, we want... Ooh, Gold Golem. Hello, Gold Golem. Can he hit me? Yeah, he's got a pretty good chance to hit. Um, okay. Oh, hopefully I'm faster, I was going to say. Okay, that should have got him caught in a bear trap, so I can get away for a second and run for it and let my regeneration take control um, build me back up I'm gonna head for the staircase down at my earliest convenience okay I've run out of room to run I'm gonna do Elbereth yeah I keep forgetting that um okay can we turn around and run back now uh, no maybe yes the gold golem got loose from the trap. I'm getting stuff thrown at me. Okay, boom. <clears throat> we have reached the shop level. Thank you. Very much. Where is it? Yeah. Dungeon level six. It looks like the shop level. It's got a door. Yeah, it's the shop level. Um I don't have much gold, but That's okay. Um, peaceful watchman is fine. I'm hoping, unlike my last run through here with my undead slayer, that the uh, you can't open. Oh, <laughs> well, there's another problem with being a werewolf. You can't open the doors. And if a watchman is watching, you certainly cannot kick them down. Um, I'm HD5. I'm guessing that's EXP5 or EX5. Let's try to polyback. Yay, nice. You return to lycanthropic form. Cool. So that works. I don't know what... Uh, I'm experience level 6 HD5, so I don't know how that works, but... Okay, cool. Got a shop here. Uh, it's a general store. I'm guessing the gold pieces are actually a mimic. Got some food that's good to know. Scroll, maybe be identifying something like that. Do I have anything to sell? I wonder. Let's uh, apply the sack. Crystal, uh, create monster, spell, teleport, create monster. Three teleport scrolls, and we're probably going to do the key. I know myself. But, uh,
anytime it's time to wrap the episode up, I thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't worry, I'm going to be back to do my commentary later to this, uh, happen to be in bed, and it's midnight, I guess, we'll see you later next time.